And to be honest, Andy, you should have replied way before because my video on you was made like a month ago. You please, you don't reply to this video. So we are just like 5 seconds into the video and we already have a cringy ass intro Hello everyone, uh, Andy here. Yeah, I know, a response video, but I kinda have to make it But you really don't need to reply to my video? I'm look at the description before we actually get into the video and if we look at the description we can clearly see that in the section where he shows the tags of the video that he put X Mocha X that's scummy especially considering that I didn't even do this I don't even do this sorry like bruh why I really don't see what's scummy about this post and am I supposed to say that your fan base is normal when they said yes to a fucking gay GLMM? Like, whoa, what's gonna happen next? Are they gonna say yes to watch you joke off the fucking gachapon? So we are just like 5 seconds into the video and we already have a cringy ass intro with a gacha profile shaking their head. Just kill me, please kill me, decapitate me if you can. Like this type of cringe is literally poisonous. Yeah, this video is on a video by Crubbix. Krub Don't go attacking him. I'm just gonna merely deconstruct his points made in the video. I am just gonna go ahead and try to debunk Crubbix's points using annoying sarcasm. But today we're gonna discuss Getcha Life or Getcha Community, whatever you wanna call it. I am also going to discuss one of the gacha YouTubers that I have known for a while, and uh, his name is Andy Gaming. Now, before I start criticizing the shit out of Andy, Andy, please you don't know, reply to this video because I don't want your 3,000 of subscribers that are probably 12 years old and use fucking gacha life to fucking flip the table over me because I shared an opinion online. And See, what you're doing right now doesn't help, which is insulting them. Them for no particular reason other than, oh, they use gotcha life, so they deserve to be criticized, which is not a good criticism, by the way. Yes, I'm insulting your fan base because of that. Us human beings see liking gotcha life as a sin, and that's because, according to a lot of people, gotcha life is literally dog shit. And <laughs> That's mainly because it looks so cringy that it, it looks like it's aimed towards kids, which means it's automatically shit. They'll not only are you doing that, but you're also telling me to not respond to you. Uh, why'd you post this video if you didn't want me to respond to it? You made the video about me. I've responded to videos about me. 
What did you expect? Because I wanted to make a piece of entertainment without being watched by gash kids. I Now, first I want to talk about his masterpiece contents. Uh, I like how you show a video and make fun of it, but that video itself is making fun of itself for its laziness. Uh, great job there, you really got me with that one. Along with a lot of other points made in this video, this has annoying sarcasm usage, which is something that I don't support. I'm not even making fun of the content for how lazy it is, I'm literally making fun of the content for how cringe and unfunny it is. But for real though, um, his content is boring as fuck. He doesn't even try to make his content entertaining, even though he does edit a tiny bit. I mean, that's not really anything special. And he honestly doesn't even put any background music in his videos. I like how I'm being criticized by a man who's talking over gameplay. You realize that 99% of all commentary YouTubers speak on gameplay. With minimal editing. Yeah. I put the background music and I also edit throughout the video. That's almost enough. And also, I don't put background music in my stuff because, number one, if you have to put background music in your stuff, that just shows that you're kind of uninteresting. Welp. I guess, like, every single commentator on Oath is now uninteresting because they put something that makes them more interesting. And, uh, you know, I don't really like putting background music in. I think it ruins the vibe and all that, so... Putting background music makes you more entertaining, so your vibe doesn't matter. I also want to mention the fact that he stutters a lot in his commentary videos and that he always uses predictable points. I use predictable points. No. It's almost like those are the criticisms and points I have with that thing. And it's almost like they don't have to be predictable. To counter the whole stuttering thing, listen, I know you're a perfectionist and all, but- This is why I hate wannabe insults. At least that's what I call them, I don't know what other people call them, but- Can I not insult you for stuttering? Otherwise, you're just gonna call me a perfectionist while also acting like that's a good insult, which it isn't. It's just another wannabe insult. Like, I feel that the stutters are perfectly fine. No, the elements, they, they're not okay. They, they literally can't be okay if they're stutters. You're not gonna fucking die because of a stutter? Oh, really? I thought I was gonna get fucking cremated if I stuttered. But all jokes aside, yes, I know that I'm not gonna die, but that doesn't change the fact that it's a problem. I don't know if Andy is like autistic enough to fucking stutter as much as he does in his music. And then you gonna say that they ain't shit because they fucking because they fucking gay bitch wait shit. That you wasn't homophobic, that you was First off, I like how the most recent clip you can get of me stuttering in a song is seven months old. Really nice shot there. You really got me with that one. It's not at all like I don't do that anymore. You still stutter in your music, I just used that one because it was the most funny and embarrassing one. For an example, your most recent rap song, Toxic, includes stuttering. 
Farther in life you get, the more you realize these people don't give a shit. They'd rather switch than be with you on your side, bitch. Yo. Also, I'm not gonna count away because that's singing. But also, nice shot at me being autistic for no fucking reason. Like, oh, oh, I, I don't know if he's autistic enough to stutter as much as he does in his music. Like, what the fuck? Because autism can make you stutter. And what was that not obvious? The last point that I want to make about Andy before moving on to the gadget community is the fact that he's a snitch. One time he made a community post about his friend and he basically showed all of his 3000 of fucking gadget friends that are probably brain dead that his friend is homophobic. Ah, uh, my bad. I guess next time someone is homophobic, racist, or sexist out of my friends, I just won't call them out and attack them for it because it's not a good thing to do my bad i guess it's a bad thing that i'm doing that i guess i'm just a snitch for doing that ah my bad yeah that, that literally makes you a snitch showing 3,000 of your subscribers that are probably snowflakes that your friend is like homophobic and transphobic and not to mention there's literally nothing wrong with being homophobic and transphobic to the point where you have to expose your own friend in thousands of people Inside a dark place Yeah, I know it hurts a lot When you become the target Drugs will get you high Got you soaring on a star Shift it, put all that shit down I still don't get why you got it I say it's a cycle But you still gotta restart it Go to VZ I'ma prove it without Fargib Calling me a rapper I'm an artist Mac cause I ain't spitting I'm just trying to make some chart hits I ain't wanna leave But I didn't We departed I've been gone so long